So is money necessary to create a life worth living? I think the answer is yes. And I'm very confident in that because one of my ultimate goals in life is to teach male entrepreneurs how to create a life worth living. And I would say that the answer to that is it's a little bit fixed because you have to think about what is a life worth living to you? Because if you're listening to this, you might be in, you know, 55, there's, there's, there's a hundred, hundreds of different stages of life that you could be in right now. And for me personally, where I'm at now with my experiences that I have is I realized that I needed, ha I needed to have a different relationship with money. And let's just say like, you know, if, if you were, if you were in a, a therapist room and the therapist, it was you in one chair, the therapist, another, and then money in another chair. And you said, you know, Oh, I, I hate that thing. I hate money. It, it's destroyed families. It's destroyed, made people, you know, greedy and caused wars and X, Y, what you, you name it. But at the same time you say, man, well, I need that because not only do I need it to pay for life in general, but I, I do need it. So the, the, the start would be to understand your, your identity and how you look at money and what is your relationship with money. I think it's one of the most important parts to understanding how to create a life worth living. So I would say the answer for me right now is yes, you have to have money to, have a, to create a life that is worth living. And here's why I mean, what I mean by that is when you have all of the, uh, when, when you have the, all of your needs met, you're able to then after that go and uh, fulfill the needs of let's just start with your mother and father or your children or your future children or your grandchildren. And you need money to be able to do that most of the time. Now, a lot of times that people have bad relationships with money, they think that the more money I have, the more greedy I become. And I'm a big, big, big believer that money is very similar to alcohol, how it, ex it expands or it exposes who you are. Money is just a tool. Unfortunately, people do have bad experiences with money because of 2008, they lost, they lost everything. You know, 80, roughly 80% 80 of, of, of families get divorced that are entrepreneurs because of money problems. Well, here's the thing. If you can get a grip and master the game of money, you'll never have to worry or you are able to worry less about money problems in the future. But the thing about money is that the more you give, the more, at least for me, and if you're anything like me, you look at money and you say, man, this is a tool for me to solve problems in the world. Money can't make you happy. I 100% I disagree with the amount of mission trips that I've served overseas and philanthropy trips that I've served overseas and community events that we've done uh, within all of my companies over the last decade and a half now. It took a lot of money for us to be able to fulfill and help people that are in need, right? Whether that be sex slave trafficking, okay, drug rehabilitation centers, orphanages, okay, you name it. There's, there's you know, water desaltation plants and solar panels on churches and schools and women's shelters and refugee centers. You need money to be able to do those things. Right now, I always tell people, if you think that money can't buy you happiness, that you haven't given enough money away. And you're like, okay, well, Mikey, it's easier for you to say because you have money. I, I, the, probably the only thing I was given was an opportunity uh, was taught how to have a work ethic for my parents and a car, right? I, I, they didn't pay for my school. I, thankfully, I got good enough grades to be able to go and get school paid for for the first couple of years, and then I dropped out because I had you know bad grades. In my early thir in my early uh, late twenties and early thirties, I realized that I had enough money to be able to pay for my entire all my expenses, what I like to call the burn rate. I had, I had enough passive income from saving up money and then investing it properly and diversifying it into more, multiple uh, uncorrelated asset uh, streams to be able to create multiple six figures a year in passive income. And that was something that I literally never thought was even possible. I didn't even think $10,000 was actually possible, especially because when you do the numbers on regular real estate, which obviously you try to do it in real estate, good luck to get multiple six figures here in passive income. But I absolutely believe that if you can understand and have a different or a better perspective on how money and the game of money works, you will actually realize that you need money to have and to create a life worth living. If you like this, make sure you subscribe for more, like, comment, send this to somebody that you think is cool. If you think I'm crazy, just tell me, Mikey, you're crazy. Or if you got something out of it, let me know in the comments as well. Cheers.